My name is Ki Zhang. I'm a doctor of podiatric medicine and I work with Orva Hospital. My duties uh, as a doctor of podiatric medicine, I um, treat patients with ailments um, regarding the foot and ankle and that range from um, diabetic foot examinations to surgical uh, depending on the type of um, ailments that comes through the door. Um, Orville, I, I actually uh, came to Orville when I was about three years old, so I grew up in Orville. Uh, I went through the whole school system, a lot of my friends are still here, um, some of my teachers are still here. So Oroville is a, a place I grew up in, I, I love the town and so uh, my first opportunity to come back, I, I jumped on it because this to me was actually beyond what I was dreaming of when I was going to medical school. How important is Oroville Hospital to the community? Well I think it's very important. Um, I mean, I grew up here uh, when I, I came around, I was three years old. From all that I can remember, everybody goes to Orville Hospital. My parents, my cousins, uncles, everybody. Um, and when I came back, I realized Orville has grown. And that's even, I think that's even more significant uh, than ever. Um, I find that it's a very stable uh, 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 business, basically, or facility in the town. And I think that it's, it's, uh, it's vital. It's vital for Orville. Um, to have Orville Hospital. Um, being first generation in, in the United States or second generations, there's always complaint about ailments that uh, nobody seems to know answers to. And one of the most uh, common one was what we call in our language uh, crazy leg syndrome or in a medical terminology, gout. Podiatry was uh, one of those fields that I figured or I've discovered that kind of tapped into the answers or at least to, to understanding what, what a gout is. And so uh, when I went to uh, UC Davis, that's, that's one of the, uh, my, uh, I would say, motivated factors to, to join podiatry, um, to be able to come back and to be able to help the Hmong community as a whole. And also, you know, um, you know knowing that there's gout, you know, there's, there's a, a reason, there's, there's something for uh, you know, the, the community to look forward to. Knowing that there's, uh, there, if you do achieve what uh, what I've gotten to at this point, that people can actually come to you and ask you, and so in a way, there's there's hope. There's hope for for some sort of treatments, or at least for some understanding of what the, what the condition is. My family, well, I'm, I'm married to uh, Persua Vu, who uh, I, I met in uh, college. Uh, we have three kids. Uh, we have two sons and a daughter. Our youngest is uh, was just uh, was born three three months ago, and. Um, He's, he's doing well, so we have a, a little kind of busy family, but uh, it's been uh, fun so far. So uh, my brothers, we have, uh, we have 10 boys in our family. Uh, I'm the second oldest. And so uh, whenever we had the chance to, we always you know, try to play basketball together, uh, barbecue, stuff like that. Um, when it comes to basketball, uh, we try to split it up where you know, it evens it out. My younger brothers, William and Wilson, um, and Joshua, actually, they play with Orville, Orville High. Um, I never got a chance to play Orville High. I played for, for a junior high, and I stopped there. But it's something that we all love, and we watch basketball, we play basketball. Um, only problem is that now that everyone's grown up, it's, trying to hard, uh, it's kind of hard to get everyone together to, uh, to have a decent game. So, but uh, it's, it's competitive sometimes. There's a lot, of, a lot of talk that goes around on the game. Um, but overall, it's just a, it's a great time. It's something that everyone enjoys.